Hello and welcome to the screencast on fitting data using the basic fitting tool in MATLAB. In this spreadsheet here I have some interesting information about US teenagers and I'm interested in seeing if there's a relationship between the percentage of high school graduates in the year 1990 among these states and the number of births to single teens in 1991 among those states. Now before I made this screencast I used the plot command to make this scatter plot of the data and on the uh, horizontal axis I have the high school graduation rates and percentages along the vertical axis I have births to single teens in thousands. And I see in this scatter plot an overall downward trend um, among the data here. You can almost visualize a line that would go maybe down this direction through the data. That wouldn't hit all the data points obviously but it'd be the line that would fit the data best. That is sometimes called the line of best fit or the regression line. And by fitting the data, what we mean is trying to pass different kinds of curves, whether they're lines or quadratic polynomials or something more complicated than that, through the data with as little error as possible to sort of capture the overall direction and shape of the data we have here in the plot. And then if I can generate a formula for that curve of best fit, I can use it to make predictions. In MATLAB, this is fairly simple once you have a scatter plot created. Let's see how. So here I have my scatter plot. I'm going to go to the Tools menu in the window, and at the bottom, or near the bottom, is the Basic Fitting tool. I'm going to click on this. It brings up a little window that gives me many, many different kinds of curves that I can select to try to fit through the data. We're going to leave this at Data 1 and not check the Center and Scale X data. So if I wanted to find the line of best fit, the so-called regression line, I would just click Linear. And what you see in the scatter plot is it automatically adds the line that has the best possible fit to the data. And I do see that follows almost the exact same track as the cursor when I was just waving it around. Other things we can do are to actually show the equation of this line on the, spread, on the uh, scatter plot. Just click this button and the line appears right over here. And the X refers to, in this case, high school graduation rates. And the Y uh, refers to the thousands of births by single teens in 1991. I can change the number of decimal places that are shown by selecting more significant digits like so. And if I click this arrow, it will expand to a new panel that shows me some of the information. It gives me a little bit more information about the formula that I selected. And I can even save that information to my workspace as separate variables. If I click the next panel, this allows me to plug in different values of x and make predictions. So for example, if I wanted to see if a certain state had an 82% graduation rate, what would it predict for the number of births by single teens? And this would predict about 3,000 births. We can click this back and back again. On top of that linear regression line, I can put a quadratic, which looks almost like the linear in this case, or higher degree polynomials. Sometimes if you have a select a, a polynomial that is of a very high degree, it will give this badly conditioned error message. We can just click out of that to see what it gives us though. It's a little faint here, but we do see the fourth degree polynomial being fit through here. So as we said, the quadratic and fourth degree polynomials that are fitting the data here uh, look good, but they don't show up very well. They have kind of a bad color choice. And we can fix that by going to the plot tools window. That's available to us because this is just any an ordinary plot. If I click on this, it will expand me out into the plot tools window. And I'm going to resize this window just a little bit to have more room to work with. If I click inside and click on, for example, this trend line, um, I can change the color from this sort of a brownish looking color to, uh, let's say, like a nice dark green and thicken it up quite a bit, say the two. And I can see that, poly that fourth degree polynomial much, much better this way. So anything that I can do on the plot tools window, I can do in this plot after having plotted the uh, curves of best fit, because it's just another plot in MATLAB's eyes. And then once I'm done tweaking my graphs, I can click back on this window and have a nice large window with my figure that I can then export to a JPEG or whatever I feel like. So that's the basic fitting tool. Again, the method of use is to simply create a scatter plot, go to tools and select basic fitting, and then just choose the curve that you want. Thanks for watching.